Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 14th of July and today we are stealing three parts of the Canopus prototype while avoiding alarms as much as possible. We are glitch sick, which is quite bad for that. We have a supplier, whatever. We have con camera for bash dash and crash trap for crash trapping and sidewinder for probably not using. Uh, we have Angel. That's pretty nice. Let's go. Okay, we've got guns, glitch dash guards, okay. Let's take a look at what we've got, just a little ship. It's not orbiting anything. So we can safely go right in. Okay. Well, that seems a good <laughs> crash trap candidate. We got an item if we go a little slightly longer way. Glitch dash is tempting, especially if we can take out the pilot. Now let's make decisions as we go. You're just defended and glitch dashing. Okay, so the difficult thing here is I can't use your gun. Because using it alerts them, and they're defended as well, so I can't really take care of them. Um, I'll pick it up anyways. Oh, crash beam. That's actually very pertinent. Okay, so do I go for that crate? It's a crate on ship one. I can go out of my way a little bit for that. Glitch sickness does make the average crate roll go down a bit, but crash beam is pretty fantastic. Crash beam is pretty fantastic for us. It's a good thing they didn't teleport right there. That would have been a little... Oh, but a little not good. Um, boop. Get you, get you, get you. And there we go. All right, that was a good item to get. Um, I think we save a little bit of time by shooting and then taking you out. As opposed to going all the way down there. And let's see what we've got. We've got... A teleporter, that's a little useless. Because normally if we're avoiding alarms, the main place that a sidewinder is useful is on is getting onto the pod. But we've got an angel. That doesn't really matter. Ten seconds. Pretty darn solid. I think if this was a speed daily, I would have passed on the crate to try and get under 10 seconds on that one. Okay. I don't think I need two automatic shotguns. <laughs> we got glitch dashers, random kit, light reinforcements.
I can pick up more regular guns. I'll leave it on the pod just in case. Okay. Two seconds, very nice. Hmm, if we didn't have Bash Dash, this would be arguably from here to here would potentially be a decent sidewind. Um, all right, yeah, just go in here, get you. This is arguably a decent sidewind. This is actually a probably a decent sidewind, considering we can take out the pilot first. That's probably what we're gonna do. Leave this behind. Don't need this at the moment. So we're going with this loadout. Uh, probably don't need this either. This is the <laughs> crash trap gets flung around having a party. Okay, I didn't realize I had to go around for this key. That's annoying, but I can do it. Get another melee weapon here. Nice to have a backup. Stealth shields, good to have. Take you out. Say hello to you. We get a uh, extreme range visitor. Has potential uses. We'll stash that. All right. Uh, the alarm no longer matters, so we can just go up here. Bloop. Open the crate, and we got something. Is that a grenade launcher? No. And we don't have to worry about alarms. Just double checking that. I'll shotgun, just in case someone teleports in my way. Activate and head out without pressing F. For those new around here, I know I've had several new followers recently. The reason why we don't press F is because if you try to press F or to do fast mo while the angel is being active, the ship goes away farther or the pod flies away farther than it pulls you in. So you end up just being flung out into space, but not fast enough that you break the area of the ship with any speed. So it's really annoying and important to remember. Yeah, emergency shield. Predator, lots of guards, okay. Not too worried. We've got a lot of crashing. Could have taken another gun, but oh well. Ooh, that was close to a pretty early two seconds. Still got two seconds on a bonk dock. Ooh, that's so good. All right. So the biggest thing is we need to worry about keys. Is there a decent visitor spot? I think the best visitor spot is probably grabbing this and then getting out.
Okay, let's make sure we grab these crashes. Is there any other key? There's no other key. Anyway, I want this to be lined up so we can get a three for Then we go boop, shoot immediately at you, give you a stab, and is anyone in range? Don't see anyone in range. And there we go. Go for this because it's literally right there. Kind of useless. <laughs> Oh, did they see me? They didn't see me enough. Ha <laughs> ha Okay. So, problem is they might go out here and see people. I've got a fucking... I, I tell you, once I have... I can only keep track of, like, six items at max. Uh, this is a little odd. Uh, I can get you to teleport to me. That works. Uh, I just won't deal with you, I think. Uh, that's a little roundabout. I think I will deal with you. Surprised I got out of there with only you following me. Alright, long range. It's enough. Get some space, get you to teleport. And then there we go. It's a teleporter, it doesn't really matter. Because we're just going. Bloop. And then we can go bloop. And then we're done, as long as we don't press F. There we go. Ten seconds. That's that's pretty darn nice for a ship three. This was a solidly fast day. We got a two second bonk dock. That's pretty rare. All right, we got a minute remaining in. That's enough time. All right, looks like we don't have seven two today. But I got thirty one seconds and a five ninety nine. Love to see it. This is a very nice. That was a very nice day. Nice and speedy. The game was kind to us, giving us so many crash options. All right. So we have... Well, that's it for today. Yesterday. We have me coming in first place with 44 seconds and a 5... Or 490. And we have the rare occurrence of... 7-2, well not specifically 7-2, but of 7-2 having a faster time but lower score. And we have, well, a bit, a bit, I lost my train of thought there. But yeah, I think that's interesting. It's always interesting when that happens on the speed dailies. Because it's not just about speed, it's about managing getting speed at the right points. And I think that's cool. Um, but yeah, so I took first place. We have 7-2 coming in second, Razdal Bachelor in third, Zaza Za in fourth, and Cassandra in fifth place, making up the top five. Good job, everybody. And with that, that's all for today's daily challenge. Here's a preview for tomorrow's Saturday daily challenge. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.